All right, welcome back. Now that we have our guys dressed for the occasion, we're going to get straight to it. So, the Mars competition. I heard you guys went out there and definitely brung home the gold. So, I want each of you to give your personal account. Tell me what the Mars competition was and how it went. I guess we'll start over here this time with Julian. So, the Mars competition was basically finding out a way to make Mars a habitable planet one day in the future. And then we had to complete a simulation to basically see which group could make the best habitat. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So, trying to make <coughs> Mars inhabitable, how did you guys go come about with the idea for that? How did you solve that problem? Well, or originally, the project was on Mars, so we just thought of a way to make living space because eventually, one day, people will probably most likely have to go to Mars mm -hmm. for more space as the population grows and grows throughout the world. So we just wanted to come up with a way to make it so that people could live there. Okay. So with, you said you had to do a simulation of this? Yes. Um, yes. Okay. So how'd you, how'd you do that? Um, through our simulation, we uh, used, we, there was an actual game that one, a developer made where we mm -hmm. had to do you use the normal functions that you would need um, to live on Mars, which was oxygen, water, um, sunlight, and the normal things on Earth? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did the uh, competition go? So you had to present, did you just, how did, how did that work? Well, we first, we presented our portion of how we would make it so that we could live on Mars, how, what we would need, and all those sorts of things. And after that, you could do like a skit or whatever, and that's what we did within our presentation. Okay. And after that, that's when we would do the game and get our score racked up and everything like that. So by game, what, what do you mean? Well, the simulation of how you live on Mars. So okay. first is the presentation portion, mm -hmm. and then you have the game portion where you try to live as long as possible. Okay. So, uh, so how did you guys get involved with this competition, Julie? Um, it started off with our parents. We met a, a man by the name of Mr. Thurmond, and he brought us into the Patriots Technology Group. Mm -hmm. And through the year, they have different competitions, and the, Ma and the Mars competition was included in that. Okay. And like I said, you guys definitely obviously did a great job. You, you brought home first place. So congratulations to you all on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I hear that the the winners got to go to NASA's space camp in Alabama? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, man. So I'm guessing this is where you got the suits from. Um, yep. You guys have mines on back order, or how's, how's that work? Am I getting mines after the show? Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Might have to look in your mind. I don't sound very... Might be looking very... <laughs> might be waiting for a long time. A long... Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that later. Yep. Um, so tell, that, I'm sure that was a great experience. I'm sure. Yes. Let's start with Justice. Tell me about your experience at Space Camp. Um, my experience at Space, Space Camp was really fun because of the different activities we did. We did astronaut training, which involved with zero gravity and uh, a lot of experiments wow. with uh, different things to live on the moon and Mars and different planets. Mm. So uh, what, would be, what would you say, Christian, was your most memorable moment while you were at Space Camp? Most definitely when we were in Mission Control we would do our missions, we would have practice, well we would have practice first, mm -hmm. like round four maybe, just to get a gist of what we would be doing and what positions you would have, whether you're Capcom, flight director, your pilot, things like that. And then at night, that's when you would actually do your mission. And it was really fun because you could, you would do experiments if you were a scientist on the ship, on the ISS or you could be one of the Capcom's people in the actual mission control room directing mm -hmm. to people where to where they need to be and what they need to do. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. So, uh, Julian, what would you say was your biggest takeaway after, after leaving space camp? Um, how many countries, like how many kids from around the world like to go to space camp for just a week at a time? Okay and all the different ethnicities and groups there. Wow, so it was very diverse, diverse crowd. Did you meet a lot of new friends going to space camp? Yes. How were you guys grouped? Did you have like, 
Uh, how did that work in terms of how they grouped you guys? Well, there was a like an elementary school kids group, there was a middle school group, and then there was the high school group. We were in the middle school group, and there was probably around, I don't know, maybe like a few hundred of us in that middle school group. Wow. And there was different teams. You had different teams for your group. We were Team Titan. That was our name. Okay. And we did various things within our group. Nice. So uh, clearly the Patriots Technology Training Center has definitely given you guys a lot of great opportunities. Um, I guess I'll start back over here, Justice. What do you say is probably, aside from the Mars, because I'm sure the Mars program was on the top of all you guys' lists, yeah. I'm sure. Yes. But uh, what, aside from that, what would, you say, what would you say was one of your other most favorite activities or competitions that you did with a part of Patriots Center? Definitely the video gaming competition because it's extremely intense and the the various amount of people that compete mm -hmm. are uh, very uh, skilled and strategic in how they play. Wow. So how did that competition go? What, what was the... Um, I guess the goal would the goal is to get first place and there's so many people and yeah. the, the overall if you win first place you get a hundred dollars So what is for what is what does it take to win first place in the video game a lot of practice and a lot of skill So you're actually literally going and playing up against other other kids. Yes. Wow. I Know a lot of kids that will be would love to be a part of that. So what would you say is your favorite activity Christian? Oh like from Mars or in Patriots all together? In Patriots. Uh, as Justin said, video gaming and then also Lego. We did Lego. That was pretty fun. Okay. We had our coach, Jukane, Mr. Jukane Butler. He helped us get through that. And you got to build this. You had this robot and it had a brick. And that's where you could use it for control. And you make code, did different things like that. And you would also build with Legos. So that was pretty cool. Wow, it's awesome to hear that you guys are, uh, are taking part in things that um, some students on the college level still haven't, you know, got to get their hands on yet. So that's really awesome. What about you, Julian? What do you think is your, uh, your aside from Mars, your favorite activity or competition? I would say the Math Counts competition, mm -hmm. where we place first place in November in Norfolk, Virginia. And in March, we will go to Kansas for the national competition. Mm. Wow. You guys. I, I'm I'm a bit envious. I'm jealous of you guys. You you sound like you have a lot of fun often with the Patriot Center. Um, so I, who inspired you guys to to pursue a career in, uh, a career path in the STEM programs? I'll start on this, and Julie. I'll have to say my parents because my dad is extremely smart. So I wanted to be like him. All right. I think you're gonna get some kudos for that after the show. <laughs> 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 okay. And what about you, Christian? Yeah, like Julian said, parents, parents, because they got us into it around third, fourth grade, and they just found something that we liked within it, and we just never stopped. So Nice. Justice? Um, not only my parents, but my uh, fifth grade STEM teacher, Mr. David Lai, okay. who got me into, who not only introduced me to the uh, STEM field, but um, gave me different opportunities to pursue a career in STEM. Yeah, so um, you all mentioned your parents or, uh, you know, the adults in your lives definitely helped you shape your path into the STEM program. So what would you say to parents that were a little less involved? How, how important is parent involvement with you developing your STEM careers? Well, it's, it's, it's a major factor, but some advice that I would give is to just put your child in it early and just like find something that they're interested mm -hmm. in how our parents did with us because as you can see like we're doing a bunch of stuff within Patriots so just put them in something early. Awesome. So I heard also along with you winning the Mars competition and going to space camp you also got to get an advanced viewing of hidden figures. Yes. yes. How did you guys enjoy the movie, Justice? Um, the movie was uh, very powerful. It had an impact, um, impactful message mm. that um, times have changed and it, um, the diversity in different places has, uh, has grown over time and it should continue to grow. Mm. And everybody should uh, consider a career in a STEM field. Okay. So one last question. I want you to uh, tell me what your career aspirations are real quick. Julie? Um, I would like to become a math professor. Okay. Uh, I would like to do something in computer science or marketing. All right. 
Um, probably a co career, uh, computer engineering. Computer engineering, okay. And one final question, what advice would you have for your peers or younger kids about participating in the STEM programs? I'll start with Christian. Well, just finding something that you like, whether it's video gaming or probably have other competitions like biomedical, if you're interested in medicine, things like that. Okay. Flight simulation, if you like to fly planes, things like that. Wow. Well, it was definitely great talking with you guys. I, I wish you all the best. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are very proud of you for what you guys are doing. Um, and I want you to make sure that you can continue doing that through high school and on to college and, and more, all right? Thank you guys so much for taking time out to come and talk to us today and talk to our youth. It's been a pleasure having you, and we hope you come back again. Once again, thank you to all of today's guests for taking the time to come on the show and talk to our youth. It has been an absolute pleasure. Bull Youth Showcase is here to educate, motivate, inspire, and uplift our youth. And by joining us, you have done just that. I hope our audience at home today has enjoyed today's show. See you next time.